How are you? Uh, I'm nervous. You're nervous? I know, it's a big stage. What's your name? Uh, Kevin Schwartz. Hi, Kevin. And where are you from, Kevin? Um, Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. How old are you? Uh, 49. And what do you do? Um, I'm unemployed. I'm trying to be a comedian. Oh, really? And what made you decide comedy? Um, um, there was a comedy club that was right, right down the street, and I was looking for an excuse to get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that so far, fear has sort of ruled my life. Comedy has been a way of trying to take back control. When I was little, my parents noticed that I had severe anxiety. My family moved around a lot, which I, I think made everything worse. Because I was always the new kid, and I was this dorky, uh, unathletic nerd. One time, my classmate spent a week not talking to me, pretending I was invisible. After college, my anxiety got even worse, and I stopped leaving my house altogether. I was diagnosed with agoraphobia. I was just terrified of leaving my house. Month after month and then year after year, it just went on and on and on. And there's a day-to-day -day awareness that life is slipping by. Many years later, my psychiatrist gave me tasks, like go outside. Then it was stay outside for five minutes. Each step was painful, but eventually I could walk around the block. I've always been interested in comedy. There was a comedy club three blocks away. My psychiatrist made me go there and write jokes. And he said, we need to get you up on that stage. It seemed impossible. I went up, I was just so scared. People said, I could see how scared you were, but you made it, which meant the world to me. I've gone to open mics and small things like that, but going on the America's Got Talent stage is a huge opportunity to reach out to the world. It's still with me, this fear, but instead of just watching other people live, I want to live. All right, I don't want to make you more nervous than you already are, Thank so you. good luck. Thank you. Let's back up a little bit, baby. Put the stand right there. Let me tell you about the first time I blacked out. And that's all I remember. I don't always cry myself to sleep. I have insomnia. <laughs> Today, I saw twin pandas. That bears repeating. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a problem with grammatical tenses, but not yet. <laughs> Just married makes it sound like they're already disappointed. <laughs> Isaac Newton died a virgin. That means I have one up on history's greatest scientific genius. <laughs> because I'm not dead. I went to the grocery store. The sign said, no food or drinks inside. So I went home. <laughs> Thank you very much.
What does that feel like? Uh, relieving. <laughs> Julianne? I, I felt like it was a little bit of a rough start. And then honestly, you got me. I can get very uh, distracted. So the fact that they were these one-liner jokes were perfect. And it, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I loved it. I thought it was really, really funny. Thank you very much. Good job. Gabrielle. I think all of us have seen so much stand-up comedy and your act, I mean, you came out here and you killed. You, you gotta know, you're a star. You're a freaking star, man. Thank you very, very much. Simon. The first half, I'm kind of thinking, this isn't going great. And then the second half was really funny. Thank you. So I like you a lot. Thank you. I agree. I could see that you were really nervous, but you were so wonderful. Thank I you. love you, and welcome out of the house. Thank you very much. We got a vote. I'm going to start by giving you your first yes. Thank you. Gabrielle? Yes. Thank you. Julianne? Yes. Simon? Kevin, we've got about 4,000 yeses here. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you're watching, and you, first of all, I want you to subscribe. So press subscribe, and if you want to see more, just click on, uh, there's got to be something around here to click on. Just whatever it is, click on it. Enjoy.